Hello, welcome to Tiny View. I'm going to show you how I made some merchandise for the general store. I started out cutting some strips the width of the height that I wanted my canned goods to be. And just rolled them up. I made several different sizes. I painted just the tops with some wood glue. I didn't have any silver paint, so I used gray, but silver or gray would work. I only painted the top and a little bit down the side. I like how it looks like the top of a real can. I printed out some labels that I made. I used very inexpensive hairspray to spray over them to seal them so they wouldn't bleed. They may be fine without it, but I've just always done it this way and I'd rather be safe than sorry. I cut all my labels out and then started gluing them on. I gave them a quick thin coat of matte Mod Podge, followed by a brown paint and water wash. I didn't paint the bottoms with Mod Podge or the wash. This is how I made my little boxes. I made my designs first and then I cut them out. The foam board turned out to be the perfect width of a box in the scale that I'm working in. Instead of printing onto cardstock and then assembling a box, I preferred this way much better. To me, it seemed less tedious. I really had a lot of fun creating the box designs. You could probably draw your own box designs or use something like Canva to make them. I'm giving them a coat of matte Mod Podge. Then a light coat of a brown paint and water wash. I designed some feed sacks and printed on paper backed fabric that I purchased. Painted a thin coat of Mod Podge. Here is an alternative. If you can't find that paper back fabric, I cut a small square of the paper and a small square of fabric. And I made sure that I ironed the fabric to the shiny side of the paper. You can faintly see where I traced out a bag shape and I'm giving it a thin coat of Mod Podge. I'm using an ink pen to draw on a design.
peeling off the freezer paper from the fabric. This bag I just used a pencil to draw the design. I'm brushing on some dry pastels to dirty the bag up a little bit. I'm peeling off the paper, which is very similar to the homemade version. Even though I only needed to close up one side and the bottom, I went ahead and did the both sides and the bottom with a blanket stitch all the way around. It reminded me of the stitching that's on the top of really big bags of dog food or something. Here I'm using some cotton that was saved from some vitamin bottles that I use. I'm firmly stuffing the bags. Here I'm creating those handles that you usually see on vintage bags of feed. And here's the finished bag. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.